Comic Buff Episode 7. Hey guys, your friendly neighbor Giorgio's here. So today we're at Ben and Florentine's Breakfast and Lunch. We're gonna look at uh, three Marvel books today. So let's go inside and check out the place. Ben and Florentine's in Vaudreuil has a very modern look and offers lots of comfortable seating, including boots. If you are a large group and looking to reserve a place, there's lots of room in the back. And this is also great if you have a business conference meeting and you want to do it over breakfast, this is a great place to reserve for such a thing. Today I decided to go with something new called the barbecue skillet. Uh, you have your breakfast potatoes with cheese curds, you have an egg on top, you have Italian sausages and a nice hollandaise barbecue sauce. Very good. You also have your choices of bread. I took the rye bread, the rye bread to change it up. So, yeah. So this is what I took from <laughs> you all. Basically, I changed up from the usual two egg sausages. So uh, here you have it, the barbecue skillet. I had a few friends tag along so I could show you guys more of uh, what's on the menu. Uh, here you have a healthy alternative, a bowl of fruit with poached egg. You have the 12 grain bread with uh, covered with the avocado spread and the red peppers. Um, so this is a, a good option if you want something light and very healthy. Uh, the fresh fruits, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Um, also, you have uh, kind of similar. Uh, you have the avocado spread uh, and the red peppers on a 12 grain bread. Uh, but this is with chorizo and uh, you have your breakfast uh, potatoes and you still have that poached egg. Uh, this is another uh, one of the breakfast options I usually take if I want something like really light, not too heavy, and uh, it'll keep you going for the well for the early part of the day. So here you have it, a beautiful, nice and healthy dish. First one up is Marvel's Absolute Carnage Scream by excellent writer Colin Bunn and artist Gerardo Sandoval. Um, so basically, the Scream symbiote is an offspring of the Venom symbiote. Uh, in this issue, they basically revived her and uh, she bonded to a host and uh, they're after a woman of importance, which I will not reveal to you. Um, this is a three-part story. The art is amazing in this. This is the type of artwork I love in a comic book, by the way. Uh, this is a definite recommend. You guys should check this out. It's a three-part story and it follows the uh, symbiotes. Next one up is The Immortal Hulk Director's Cut Number 1 by Al Ewing and uh, Joe Bennett with Alex Ross doing the covers. Uh, so basically this is the story of the Hulk uh, and this is a more monstrous type of Hulk, like an evil Hulk uh, that we haven't seen in uh, the last few years. Uh, there's a lot of violence in the beginning, people getting shot which is unusual for Marvel books. Um, so uh, we're following the Hulk here and I like this version, it's kind of like a new twist on the Hulk but it's rehashing an old version of the Hulk basically showing his true colors is the, the monster way of the Hulk. <laughs> uh, you have the line art in the back here. You have a director's uh, commentary basically on certain uh, pages. I mean, look at the gorgeous art here. I mean, Joe Bennett really has a lot of talent. Uh, this is a book I highly recommend. If you guys haven't picked it up yet, go and get it. It's a great read. Finally, we have X-Factor number 87, the facsimile edition, which is a reprint of the 1992 uh, issue of X-Factor number 87, <laughs> complete with the, uh, the old ads, the Super Nintendo ads and stuff. Uh, I really miss these books. These are from the 90s. Uh, I was really invested in X-Men at that time, so I never really picked up X-Factor. So this was a nice read. You basically get into each of the characters in the team. Uh, there's a sub psychiatrist by the name of Doc Sampson, if you guys know him from the Hulk series. He just gets into all of these characters and uh, we get an insight on all of them and uh, how they are. So it's, it's, a, really, um, it's a really great book to, uh, to read, to look back into uh, the X-Factor days. Um, and this is what I like about Marvel bringing these books back as facsimile editions. Absolute Carnage Scream number one is a tie-in to the Absolute Carnage storyline, so this is a definite pickup, guys. Uh, read this book. It's a three-part story, so, I mean, it's not like a huge investment, but the art is awesome, and the storytelling will be great. It's Cullen Bunn, after all. So, uh, go and get this one. Second book reviewed is The Immortal Hulk Director's Cut number one. Uh, this book comes highly recommended on my behalf. Uh, if you want to see a different kind of Hulk from what we've seen the last few years, this is the one to go for. 
and they're basically doing uh, basically doing six issues of this so they're reprinting the first story arc from one to six uh, which have been sold out so your best bet is to pick this one up and just read the story the last issue reviewed was X Factor number 87 the facsimile edition uh, this is a great book if you want to relive a bit of the 90s. It's written by Peter David, so you cannot go wrong with that writer. Uh, the art is by Joe Quesada and Al Milgram, uh, great artists. Uh, it's an excellent read, especially for a $3.99 cover price. Uh, for what Marvel's charging nowadays for their books, I mean, this is like a good, uh, good investment. I would like to thank Catherine, the owner of Bene Florentine in Vaudreuil, uh, for letting me do an episode of Comic Puff in her establishment. Um, you definitely have to check this place out. Every season they change their menu and they add stuff. Sometimes they remove stuff, but they mainly add stuff. So every season you got something new and something great to look forward to. So when you get a chance, go check out Bene Florentine in Vaudreuil. And of course a big thank you to Mark from Studio 9 Comic Shop, located at 5835 St. Hubert Street in Montreal. If, you're, if ever you're in the area, please stop by. Go and say hi to Mark, and of course, buy comics. <laughs>